United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Roll call. Thomas Wynn. Here. Marianne Rosa. Here. David DeMere. Here. Here. Case Duplessy. Kathleen Raymo. Here. Jonathan Ramsey. Here. Louis Raza. Here. Paul Ronaldo. Here. Okay, public participation. Please come to the uh, podium. Name and address, please. If you'd like to say anything. <clears throat> Catherine Camera, 31 Cottage Place in Oakville. Um, it appears that you guys handed off my 311 request from June 17th to Attorney Jessel. Um, was that June 26th correspondence to the council so, his, some sort of a response of his to you? Uh, that's the, um, was that the thing that you pass out to us in response? No, he sent a letter to you June 26th that says request for investigation submitted by me. I just want right. to verify that that was, yes, that's it. you charged him with answering that. Yes. Um, did you, you, you read his response, I assume? Yes. Okay. Did, did any of you happen to notice what was missing from that response? No. Well, okay. Not that I know. Anybody? Have a you directed the town attorney at the cost of the taxpayers to respond to my question, but he never answered it. it throughout that whole June 26, he never answers what I asked. He talks about me, he talks about 311s, yep. he talks about a whole lot of stuff, but we paid money and he never answered the question. I will look into that question. Uh, uh, can you help me by saying what? question that yes no, I will. not yep. going through a lot just no no that's what's fine. the question you're asking the question was um give me one second it was if the town manager is aware of allegations that may prove that a town employee has committed a crime is it the, is it his duty to report such to a law enforcement agency on behalf of the residents of the town he never answered that question okay, throughout okay. the entire well you're assuming that the, the town manager uh was aware of a employee I, committed I crime. gave you as part of that what was given to me at Freedom of Information. I didn't come up with this. That's the town's brief to Freedom of Information. If you all had looked at it rather than just give it to the town attorney, you would have seen Well, we did look at I, it. I'm, okay, like I'm saying, I, it, that's, that depends on what your interpretation is versus no, that document. Yeah, no, okay. it's, I'll, I'll, it's I'll, the brief to the FOI, right. and that's what it says in the brief. It's from the town. It said the it's town not, manager knew. Okay, all right, I'll find out. No, that's not what it said, but it's it talks about refusing my FOI because of possible um, criminal sanctions. But possible, when, okay. Correct. I'm not, this is not about who's... I'm saying that I asked a question, and we paid for this June 26, and the question was never answered. There was a bunch of stuff. I'll get about that answer to you next meeting. All of that. I'll get that answer next well, meeting. Well, that would be really good because okay. um, there's a couple of other things within that that are a bit disturbing, um, and one of them being that my that within that he says that. Um, the state's attorney had called Mr. Scannell and that there was no cr criminal aspect. But that would have been in 2018. How can he then turn around in 2019 and refuse me an FOI request saying there's a possible crime? It can't be both. You can't have, there isn't one, and then, well, there is one because I don't want to give you documents. It's really something, I get it, you don't want to sit here and listen, but it's, right. it's something well, I mean, that's I mean, going we're not to be a problem. It here. I mean, we're not going to okay. go step well, by I'm word telling by word, you, by word. It's not going to happen. That's it's, fine. It's I'm telling you what I read in his response to you okay. and what the problems are. And another problem with that is he tells the council that I knew full well of a piece of exculpatory evidence. I don't even know how he can tell you what I know or what I don't know, but that's absolutely wrong. Okay. I saw nothing that I consider exculpatory, and I, I don't appreciate that the taxpayers are paying the town attorney, and he's making opinions on telling you something that I know. If you would like to know what I know, you okay. can certainly well ask me, nope. but I don't think an assumption that this town should okay. be paying for an assumption. So I'm going to formally give you this question again so that I can get an answer to Perfect. the question. Okay? Thank you.
and I'll get a copy to everybody just so everybody knows what the question is. Okay, anybody else? Public participation. Anybody? Hearing none, public participation is closed. Um, mo um, me, uh, have a motion to accept the minutes of June 17th to 19. Uh, the lateness is due to some minute changes. I make a motion to approve the June 17th, 2019 regular meeting minutes. Second. 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 Discussion? Having none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? I abstain. It's 711, right? Okay. I make a motion to approve the July 15th, 2019 regular meeting minutes. Have a second? Second. And discussion? Having none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. I make a motion to approve the August 5th, 2019 special meeting minutes. I have a second. Second. Any discussion? Having none. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion. 711. Okay. Uh, Chairman's report. I've got some good news here for our town, which I'm very... I'm very pleased about, and I think everyone should be. It's about a Crestwood Park, Crestwood Park Golf Course. Um, and I know, unfortunately, they're not here, but hopefully they'll get into the record that uh, I'd like to uh, congratulate Jan uh, Vivestad, who is our golf pro, um, and actually um, also Lisa Lisa um, Carew, who is our our, our, our our chairman of our our director of public work, I mean the uh, Gulf Park and Rec, and our Park and Rec Commission, who is who is headed by Bill Dunstan, and here's why. Crestbrook Golf Course was voted best golf course by Reader's Choice Republican Party uh, Republican American uh, of 2019. Best sixth hole in the state of Connecticut was uh, was stated by the New York Post, and a challenging layout. And um, best 18 holes in the state in the state by the Connecticut Magazine. Um, I also talked to Jan yesterday uh, at the course, and he said that uh, <coughs> we are in the pardon, we are in the black. We're doing well, and uh, things are really going well, and they're very very busy up there at the golf course. Um, I, I commend everybody that's involved in this golf course that, uh, and I think he was the right, definitely the right hire. So I, I, I commend all of, um, everyone that was involved in that. Um, do we have a chairman's report? Chairman? I mean, uh, town manager? Anything? No. Okay. Acting. Subcommittee. Uh, I know old case is out here. Anybody else has subcommittee? Any no. reports? I'm not going to go no, into it. Okay. New business. Cover it. Uh, motion, please. I make a motion to set a special town meeting to be held on Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019, at 7.15 p.m. at the Watertown High School Lecture Room to consider an appropriation from the general fund in the amount of $3,023,613 for the Sylvan Lake Road reconstruction project. Come a sec. Okay, any discussion? Can we have some any questions? Some short explanation on what that's about? The yeah, were being short. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. What are you looking at me for? Mr. Cavanaugh. <laughs> he wants a short explanation. No. Uh, my name is Roy Cavanaugh, short director of public works. Thank you very much. Uh, the three million dollars is the for this reconstruction of the Civil Lake Road between um, the park and going up toward Parkman, uh, the lo it's under the LATSIP program, which means that the state of Connecticut is funding 100% of the construction costs, which is approximately two and a half million dollars. In addition, they provided us 10% or about $250,000 for a construction inspection administration and another $250,000 approximately for uh, contingencies or extras, if you will. Uh, at the end of the project, uh, uh, excuse me, the check has been received, it's been deposited, it's in the bank, and at the end of the uh, project, uh, when all the costs are complete, any surplus funds will be returned to the state of Connecticut. Okay. 
Anybody else? So this will be a Tuesday, September 3rd, 2-19 at 7.15 for a special town meeting. Uh, all in favor, signify saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. B. I make a motion to approve an extension of a bid waiver previously granted on May 6th, 2019 for the 2019 paving pro program for paving rehabilitation to be performed by Cochiola Paving, who has offered to extend their September 20th 2018 bid for a price not to exceed an amount not to exceed four hundred thousand dollars have a second second any discussion no one once twice none all in favor say aye aye, aye. opposed abstain motion passes see i move to allocate thirty thousand dollars for the clerk of the works for the town hall renovation project from the contingency for the project. Have a second? Second. Discussion? Yeah. What do we need that for? What is that for? Um, Jerry's uh, contract is up um, probably September, because that's when we, it's been a year. We, we, we may go over because of a, some some issues with the, with, with the building, not too far. And um, Bob suggests that we just uh, increase his, uh, uh, his the, increase the fund by thirty thousand dollars. So in case he does go over, we won't run out of funds, and that we're not coming back to the town council time after time after time. Not going to spend it all. It's just, I mean, we can you can make it you can make it lower if you want to. Just didn't want to uh, keep on going back. It's just his hourly relate uh, hourly rate is not going to change. It's just the time left in the project. So these funds, in addition to what he's already getting, these the, an extension these of funds the are just in case we run out of the fund that we've already approved to pay him. He's not. I'm not we're not proving him to get thirty thousand dollars. We're proving to put thirty thousand dollars into that fund that pays his salary. Once he is done, if there's twenty thousand dollars left over, it goes back to the general fund. This is not. In other words, we didn't approve enough money initially to pay his so. salary till the end of the project. That's bottom line. Yeah, didn't anticipate. Anything else? Anybody else? Hope you're okay. I think, given the amount of time and effort and money that he saved us, we shouldn't even be hesitating. Without him there, it would have cost us a lot more money. Well, that's not a question of hesitating. I just thought it was an additional $30,000 away. That sounded, that's why I questioned. Well, it could be if the project goes on long enough. Yeah, when we first approved it, we it didn't was appropriate enough money to begin with the right. time frame. Now we're going over the budget. Yeah, his contract is almost up. Um, and he'll have to probably, pardon me? When is it up? I don't have that. Uh, you, I don't have the date. It's September. I don't know what it, you know, when he when we started the project. I don't remember that contract is. Um, but like I said, it's not going to be. Uh, he has put and he has put a lot of time and effort, uh, and he has uh, he has made us aware of some issues that uh, I'm happy that we are we're aware of them, and he's put some time and effort into that. So uh, I'm perfectly happy with his. Um, with his, uh, Does any, no one knows how much is left? Jobs. No uh, yes, there's a couple thousand dollars. There's not much left. In his, you talk about in the fund? Yeah, there's not many. There's not. There's a. There's a few thousand dollars left in the fund. I was told by Bob. That's correct. That's correct. It wasn't anything personal. That's what he's getting paid to do. Save us money. Am I correct? Yeah. Well, I'm just. Okay. I'm responding and saying that's exactly what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> anything else? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? I abstain. Motion passes. 7-1-1. Okay, next. I move to approve the resolution authorizing tax refunds. I have a second? Second. Any discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion passes. E. I move to approve the resolution authorizing the transfer of funds between line items for fiscal year 2018-2019. Have a second. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Next. And I move to approve the resolution authorizing the transfer of funds.
between line items for the physical year 2019 2020. I have a second. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain. Motion passes. Public participation. Anybody else would like to come up to the podium? Anybody? Hearing none, motion to adjourn. So moved. Have a second. second. All in favor? Aye. Meeting adjourned.